Welcome to Long Army by Jacqueline. So for today, we are doing, I promise it's the last week of Improv Curves. Improv Curves, this is part four, and we're doing curvy improv four patches. So give yourself a nice gentle curve. And for this technique, I would not cut off a corner and cross a, a top and a side. I would go top to bottom or um, horizontal, so left to right. So the trick is we are going to scramble our unit. And again, if you feel the need to do this with multiple layers and be able to scramble and assort more with that same curve, you can do that. So you're going to sew this first, exactly like we did our very first improv curve unit that we did. And then you'll bring your two sewn blocks back and cut your second curve. So you, if you went vertical, you could turn and do the other way and sew it there. And that way your points will line up a little bit better in the middle. You can cut them both and then sew them like a four patch and that will work as far as the curves lining up, but you're not gonna get the neat matching point in the middle. So if you want that point, you have to cut, sew, restack, cut, sew again. And you will be amazed how something rumpledy looking that you think there is just no way with a little bit of patience and time at your pressing station will smooth right out. It'd be nice if my iron were already hot. And if your curve was not perfect, you can lay it down nice and flat with your iron and it'll work out just beautifully. And then these guys were step one of our improv baby four patch. So what I'm going to do is put these the same way so that my curve is aligned. Line up my edges as well as I can. And then since I cut across this way before, oh, I'm talking to myself for no reason. Not recording, good. <laughs> since I cut across this way before, I'm gonna do my next improv curve this way. And again, I can do sort of a D shape or a double curve with an S shape. It really doesn't matter. Um, so just do your improv curve. I think we're gonna go here. And then we scramble our left twigs and our right twigs. And that's how 
our four cap, she's going to look. And then we do that the exact same way. We pop over to the machine, line up our curves and stitch. If you really want to nail this curve, you can start from the center and stitch out. And here is my tip. Um, those seams are not at a 90 degree angle. So when you fold it over, I'm not looking for these seams to align at the edge because that's not where I'm sewing. I am looking for the seams to align one quarter of an inch in where my needle hits. So they're actually gonna be crossed a little bit so that one quarter of an inch in from the edge where my needle actually hits, the threads are crossing up my seams. Okay, so there is our block. And let's go ahead and do the center out method on this one. And I can tell that I feel that my seams are crossing at that one quarter inch point. I'm gonna place my needle right in there and start to sew my seams. Are... Just a few stitches at a time. Don't worry if it's not perfect good enough for an improv quilt. Just to say that's not what you meant it to be. If you've been enjoying this video series, please uh, don't forget to check below, see if you have subscribed, see if you've liked the video. Um, every comment, like, share, subscribe helps and makes a difference. And don't forget if you click the little bell, then you'll be notified every time there's a new video from any of our series um, here on Long Army by Jacqueline. Let's just put a little time in with the iron. Flattening out our block. Think of this as relaxing the fibers and allowing that fabric to find its own curve and settle into the natural curve that you've already cut. I hear you, Winifred. So I want to show you this. It looks right here like I have a little pleat, but that is not a pleat like you think it is. When I look at my stitching, it's not a pleat under the stitching. It's just not wanting to fold over neatly. So I'm gonna heat that up from the wrong side. Allow the curve to find its own, the fabric to find its own natural curve. Allow the heat of this um, iron to settle the fabric in. And with a little work at the pressing station, that has flattened right out. And I've got a nice, smooth, continuous curve on both sides, following the seam along and a nice point. So I hope you enjoyed our block two. 
which is Scrappy Improv Curves. Whether you're doing a wavy four patch, whether you're doing a stack and scramble with as many cuts as you like, whether you're cutting off the corner in this sort of drunkard's path reminiscent block, or keeping it simple with just a single left twix, right twix curved block. 